What's going on guys? My name is Ashley and welcome back to This Is It FM. The last time we were here we played Norwich City in the East Anglian Derby and we drew 0-0. How we didn't win the game, I don't know. We absolutely battered them in the first half. We just didn't take our chances in the first half when it mattered and of course we paid for it by not winning the game. Today we take on Tottenham Hotspur in the third round of the Carabao Cup. This is episode... <laughs> This is Season 1, Episode 4, with Ipswich Town. Kima! Here we are guys, this is Episode 4. We are ready to play Tottenham Hotspur in the third round of the Carabao Cup. It should be an exciting game. Before we get into it, let's just see how we've been getting on. So after the Norwich game, we have been working on attacking and team cohesion. In the Norwich game, we absolutely battered them, which couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. So I've been working on creating chances and uh, converting the chances. I've also been working on team cohesion, which is something I'll quickly show in a second in Dynamics, where it has improved. Before we get into that, Emir Hughes has come back today after finally getting match sharpness, and he's scored two stunning goals in the recent three games. Certainly, there are two goals I'm going to show you. We beat Hull 3-1, Emma Hughes, John Nolan, and an Angus McDonald own goal, courtesy of a thunder strike from Conor McHenry. The Emma Hughes goal come from outside the box. It was a thunder strike. You watch his left foot, boom! Straight in the bottom corner, goalkeeper had no chance. Go on, Emma, well done, son. In the next game, we had Brentford. We won 3-1. Emma Hughes, Ben Flamey, and Luke Chambers. Ben Flamey, you may be thinking, where has he been? He was missing at the Norwich game and a couple of games prior to that due to being away on international duty with Australian under-21s. He returned to, to the previous game against Hull and today he scored against Brentford. Emma Hughes, as I said, scored. Ben Flamey, Luke Chambers. Luke Chambers scored from a corner kick. I remember to set my set pieces up this time and it paid off. Let's just quickly show you the second Emma Hughes goal, another goal of the season contender. This one, in my opinion, is even better. It was... A fabulous curling effort, a bit further out as well. Whoa, let's slow that down a bit. Slow that down. Now let's go back to time. So, John Nome in the corner, put it in. It was cleared out from the defender from Brentford. Emmy Hughes, edge of the box, right in the top corner. Go on, son. Two fabulous goals in two games. Couldn't have wished for better. Go on, my boy. In the most recent game we played Bolton, we sprung a whole host of changes. Bart Bielkowski and Luke Chambers, the only survivors from the two recent games. And Emmy Hu, sorry. We played a few, few of the youngsters. Ken Lock needs some match, match sharpness. Flynn Downs had a couple, a couple of games off injured. Jack Lancaster has been playing well in the reserves and training well, so he deserved a start. And Danny Ray, of course, has been, been pushing for a start. But Conor McHenry has been keeping him out. Danny Rowe popped up with the winning goal. And it wasn't the most entertaining game, but certainly we we done enough to win. So that has left us third place in the championship table. Played nine, won five, drew three, lost one, and nine plus nine goal difference of 18 points. Only three points behind Stoke City. That is quite a remarkable achievement so far, considered, considering that the media were predicting us for a relegation battle. If we scroll down the table, we can't quite see it on the screen. Our rivals in Norwich are 20th place. Go on! So, dynamics, as I said, I have been working on um, team cohesion. I've been picking the, the, the match training sessions, which improve match cohesion, team cohesion. And as you can see, the cohesion has gone up, the directionary atmosphere has gone up, and so has the managerial support. Obviously, winning games is going to help improve these, but it's something I've been trying to pay more attention to, and it looks like it's paying off. So, today we have got Tottenham in the Carabao Third Cup. Tottenham have recently played. Liverpool in the league, where they lost 6-0 and absolutely got bad. Roberto Firmino with a hat-trick. Son Hoing Min, own goal. Fabinho and Sadio Mane scored for Liverpool. After today's game against us, Tottenham have Man City away in the league, Juventus away in the Champions League and Everton at home in the, in the Premiership. Three games, three difficult games in the space of eight days. I expect them to come down to Horton Road today with a weakened side. 
So this is the lineup we will be going for today in the third round of the Carabao Cup. We will start with Barbie Alkowski in goal. Along the back four, we'll have Jordan Spence, Matthew Pennington, Aristotle and Siala, and Jonas Knudsen. At right back, Jordan Spence has played the last few games in the league and certainly been playing very well. 7.5 average rating in three games, nothing to be sniffed at. Danassian, who played the last game and has played the majority of this season, has done a 7.3 in five games, which is decent, but I'm looking forward to giving Spence a little go today. He's a bit bigger and a bit better physically. Centre defence, we're giving Luke Chambers a rest. Matthew Pennington and Nunziana, both big old boys, great physical stats, as we can quickly see here. They're big, big old boys, and I'm, I'm expecting them to come up against Fernando Lorente today. They should be able to keep him at bay. At left back, we've got Jonas Knudsen keeping his spot. In midfield, Kolsku starts. Emi Hughes, from his recent two goals, he deserves to start today. I'm hoping he'll be able to produce something similar today. Conor McHenry starts on the right, John Nolan and tap midfielder, Jordan Graham on the left with Ben Flamy up front. On the bench we've got Danassian, Kenlock, Downs, Danny Rowe, Guion Edwards today. I'm going to bring him on and try and tap midfielder because as an inside forward he's just not cutting it. Ellis Harrison and Ashley Fletcher also. Tottenham line up today and they've certainly shocked me. They've got Harry Kane starting up front. Oh my God, is he going to score today? On the left hand side, some random guy called S. Harrison, not a clue who he is. Ericsson in the centre and Lamina on the right. Then three up here, they're going to cause us problems. I didn't think they'd be starting so strongly. Dembele and Winks in defence midfield. Along the back four, they have Davies, Alguero, Davinson, Chan Sanchez and Sergi Almira with a warming goal. Here we go, the game kicks off. Today, as it's a, a fairly reasonable big game against Tottenham, we will be playing extended highlights on 3D. I hope you enjoy the game. Come on, you blues. Nusso in the ball forward. Sanchez picks it up. Is this the first pointless highlight? Cleared out to McKendry. McKendry, go on. Oh, Mikel Vaughan saves it. Ipswich Town with a very, very optimistic start. Come on, you blues. Ericsson with the corner. Back post. Bielkowski, go on. The big pole in goal. Bielkowski now. Kicks it out. What on earth was that? Harrison picks it up. Winks now. Winks to Ericsson. Harry Kane. We cannot make mistakes against these three players up front for Tottenham. We need to be careful. Dembele. How do we old? Davies, go on Scoos, get stuck in there, what a tackle. Forward now, Ben Flamey cleared out, Lamela. Forward to Harry Kane, oh my god, here we go. Harry Kane, oh Ericsson, 1-0. Not a good start, maybe our defensive line was just a bit too high there. Let's quickly pull that defensive line back, just a tad. Because we are playing, of course, the big side in Tottenham today. McAndrew, the free kick, moves in, back post, cleared out, Flamey. Ooh, Davies gets rid of the gets rid of the danger. Spence. It's excuse to McKendry to Nolan. Back up to Spence. Spence looks up, puts a ball in. McKendry's there. McKendry in Sir Graham blocks. Is that a penalty? What's going on there? Ah, oh, nothing. Ooh. Davies with a throw in. Spence clears Nolan. And as far as Winks, back up to Davies. It's like the Dembele. Harry Winks. Looks up, he's going through, puts a shot on, Bielkowski puts a palm through it and over from the corner for Tottenham Hotspur. Lamela to take the corner. Harry Kane's looking for it. Out, Harry Kane, edge of the box, oh! I don't know what, I presumed Harry Kane was going to be in the box then, he was on the edge of the box. Half time, Tottenham winning 1 0. As you can see from the match stats, we're certainly not being dominated, it's definitely close. We just need to make a bit more of our, ch our chances up front. One change at half-time, Flynn Downs comes on for Emmy Hughes. I told the boys we need something else in the second half. Emmy Hughes was the only one that re reacted ne negatively, apparently looking disinterested. I'm not putting up with that. You're coming off, mate. This is a big game. Ericsson, the free kick. Oh, Bielkowski didn't even move. That's close. Pennington now. Free kick deep inside the town's half. Spence run down the right-hand side. Puts the ball across. Newton comes in. Flynn Downs. Nolan. Look up. Flynn Downs. Back to Skews. Nolan. Skews. Out wide to Spence, Nolan, McKendry. Just made the final two changes. I've brought on Ellis Harrison for Jordan Graham. And oh, Jordan Graham, we scored. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Well, after that, I just, I've just decided to take Jordan Graham off. He hasn't, wasn't playing well. I also decided to take off Ben Falami. I've changed that now. I'm making one change. McKendry's going to come off and Danny Rose is going to come on. We've got half an hour left. We are 1-1. Come on, Town. Throw in. In Town's half. Spence to Danny Rose. Just on. Cole Skews to Downs, Downs, how oh, to Danny Rowe. Good old dink forward, Ben Flamy. Go on, boy. Looks up, goes back. Jordan Spencer arriving late. Goes across goal to Knudsen. 
John Nolan back out to Spence. Puts it in, but it's blocked. Harrison puts it out for Tottenham. Ericsson forward now. Here we go. Here we go. Lamela shoots the left foot. Whoa, that is scarily wide. And we're all now. Hey, ring. Spin downs wins. Go on. Jordan Gray, free. What a ball. Ben Flurry dinks it. Ah. Oh. Mikel Vaughan saves it. Tottenham now the throw in. Flynn Downs wins the ball again. He's done well since coming on at half time for Emmy Hughes. Alduero, big ball forward. Ericsson's free. Looks up. Lamela back to Herrera. Got to close him. Hits the bar. We escape there. Very fortunate. Seven minutes left. We've just made our last change. Ashley Fletcher's come on for Ben Falami. Come on, make the difference. Nudson with the throw in. Back out to Nudson. Nudson. Nolan. Inside downs, he shoots, blocked, Tottenham clear. Jordan Spence with a throw in to John Nolan on a yellow card. Back to Spence, big ball forward, Ashley Fletcher's chasing it, Eric Dyer clears. Jordan Graham wins it back, Nudson to Graham. Graham, downs, who's it now, Nolan, back to downs, go on Flynn. Jordan Spence comes in, takes it out wide, Fletcher nods it in, John Nolan, oh, John, Nolan. John Nolan with a shot, but it's blocked out and it's a corner kick. John Nolan now with the corner. Come on, town. This could be the winning goal. Extra time now. Come on. John Nolan whips it in. Back to the back post of Dyer. Brilliant. Cole Scoose now. What the hell is he doing there? He's just give it away. Tottenham break. Lamela. Harry Kane's in there as well, isn't he? Oh, Lamela. Looks like he's got cramp or something. He's given up. Aurera. The throw in. Ericsson. Go on. Graham wipes him out. Then Ciala heads out. Winks back in for Lamela. Lamela. Scoose clears. We are fighting here. Ashley Fletcher. Out wide to Danny Rowe. Come on, let's get the winner. Jordan Graham. He's taken out wide. Tottenham have a chance to get back. Free kick. This could be the last bit of action. Can we score? Danny Rowe now. Come on. Whips it in. Back post. Out to Fletcher. Fletcher to Nsiala. Nsiala to Skoos on the edge. Nsiala. Back to Skoos. Don't stop messing around. It's not a hot potato. Come on. Flynn down. Skoos. Downs. Skoos. I'm getting bored now. John Nolan, Scoose. Referee's going to blow. He's going to get fed up with this. Oh, it's going out. Danny Rowe now. Danny Rowe whips it in. Vertonghen heads out. It's ended. Nil-nil. Of course, the Carroll Cup goes to penalties if the tie remains level at the end. We have not got many good penalty takers out here at the moment. Here we go now. John Nolan. Come on, you blues. John Nolan steps up for the first penalty. Bottom corner. Get in there. Harry Kane now for Tottenham against the big Poland goal. He saved two penalties this season. Can Bial Kelsey do it? Harry Kane, bottom corner. Next up is Ashley Fletcher off the bench for Ben Falami. Can he put his penalty back in the net? But yes, he does. Bottom corner. Go on, 2 1. Lamela now for Tottenham. Come on, Bart. Come on, Bart. He's going to save it. Oh, bottom corner. 2 2. Jonas Knudsen for the third penalty for Ipswich Town. Takes a deep breath. Oh, top corner. He's put it in. 3-2. Ericsson now. Ericsson. Eric. So Ericsson now with the penalty. Top corner. Bart had no chance. I'll tell you what. I fancy Bart to make a save in this penalty shootout. He's, he's had two penalties. He's faced two penalties this season. A save two already. Cole Skuse, Bottom corner. 4-3. Pressure's back on Tottenham. Harry Winks. He looks nervous. He looks nervous, the youngster. Oh, he puts it in the bottom corner. Oh. Jordan Graham now, with the equaliser of a town. I was going to take him off. Can he score his penalty, the fifth penalty? Bottom corner. Tottenham missed this. We go through to the fourth round, and what a fantastic win it would be. Penalties or not, winning is still great, especially against a team of Tottenham's calibre. Stepanenko now. That's a funny old name. I've never heard of him. Stepanenko, he's got to be a very young player. What's his composure like? No, go on, go on, Stepanenko, mate. Well done, Sam. Well done. Bielkowski saves the winner penalty, and we go through to the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. Get in there, get on! Before we finish today's episode and see where we're going to come back next, I just wanted to skip ahead before the next game to. So we can see the Carabao Cup fourth round draw live. Let's go into it and see how it goes. So in the hat today, we have still got teams 
such as Arsenal, Brentford, Burnley, Chelsea, Palace, Everton, Huddersfield, Liverpool, Man City, Maynard, Oxford, oh, they've done well to get this far, Stoke City, Watford, Swansea and West Ham. Do we want one of the big boys or do we want Oxford to go through to the next round? No offence, Oxford. Here we go, next team, Watford at home to Burnley. The next tie will be Chelsea at home to Crystal Palace. Arsenal playing at home to May United. Oh, that's going to be a big one, that is. Man City at home to Brentford. Ipswich still left in the draw. Oxford also remaining. Liverpool and Everton, the two biggest names left. West Ham. Of course, this would be an interesting if we get West Ham. Swansea. <laughs> it's getting close. Ipswich Town, drawn at home. This will be the second home cup tie we've had on the trot. Who are we going to get? Evan, oh, we welcome the Scousers to Portland Road for the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. That is sure to be a good clash. Again, we will fancy our chances here. So after that, we've next got Birmingham, which is, as you can see today, um, I'll, I'll do that off camera and we'll come back for a double header against Middlesbrough and Swansea. As I couldn't upload an episode last night, I will be doing two episodes today and then for... The week coming, I will be up uploading an episode each day at around about 9 o'clock. So, next, we'll be back for Middlesbrough and Swansea. Sure to be a big game, two big games. Middlesbrough second place at the moment, Swansea 14th. However, don't be fooled by that. They've got a very strong squad. And then after that, I reckon we'll probably leave it and come back for the Everton game. So, been a pleasure, guys. If you're still watching, you're still enjoying it, thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. I'm, I'm on Facebook, This Is It FM. I'm on Twitter at This Is It FM. I have got a Twitch account, but ignore that. I need to change that on my on my channel art. I'm not on. I am on Twitch, but I'm not streaming at the moment because I'm are no good. So yes, please, if if you like it, like the videos, please leave a like, leave a su subscription, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear what you think. If there's anything I'm missing out, is it, get, is it getting any better? Do you know what I mean? Like, let me know, guys. I'm really getting into this and. Well, I'm just loving it, like up the town. I'll see you guys soon. Please.